Hey, Obama, where are you? Sleepy Joe and I have been waiting forever to play Mario Kart. Sorry, Donald, I'm feeling a bit under the weather. But don't worry, I found a replacement to fill in for me. Ooh, who is it? Ask Obama if it's George Bush. Sleepy Joe, I don't think it's George Bush. Look! Привет, my friends. It's me, Vladimir Putin. Let's race, comrades. Hello, quick disclaimer. The voices in this video are computer-generated with artificial intelligence and do not reflect the views of the people they represent. This video is for satire and entertainment purposes only. Now, with that out of the way, enjoy the video. All right, folks, let's get this Mario Kart tournament started. Putin, have you ever played this game before? Da, da, Mario Kart. I have played it a few times. Uh, Obama taught me. He's not here today, unfortunately. Hold on a second, Putin. Did you just call Donald dad? He isn't your dad. No, no, President Biden. That, that, that means yes, yes in Russian. I apologize for any confusion. Oh, my bad. I thought you were getting cheeky with the nicknames already. And please, don't call me President Biden. Make it more casual. Call me the Bidenator. That's what everyone calls me. That's a load of malarkey, Putin. Nobody calls him the Bidenator. You can just stick to calling him Sleepy Joe or just Joe. Oh, Pasibo for the clarification, Donald. Joe, are you ready to lose to Russia on Mario Kart? What does Pasibo mean? And I'm not losing today. Wow, Sleepy Joe, you don't know what Pasibo means? Ha ha ha! It means Merry Christmas. Putin, the thing with Sleepy Joe is that he doesn't bother learning other languages. From the sound of it, neither do you. Pasibo means thank you, not Merry Christmas. I know, I know, Putin. Just wanted to test you there, see if you were paying attention. Hey, Sleepy Joe, why are you being Baby Mario? Going for that creepy uncle vibe? Come on, Donald, can't I just be Baby Mario for once? Besides, I'm not the one being Wiggler. Looks like someone's compensating for something. That's fake news! I'm being the Wiggler because he is a tremendous guy. I must agree with Joe here, Donald. Wiggler does seem like the choice for those trying a bit too hard to compensate. That's why I choose the character that Obama made for me. Hey now, Wiggler's a solid choice, all right? Donald, look at you! The Wiggler character with the Wiggler cart just looks wrong. It looks like the Wiggler is doing something a little bit sus, as the kiddies would say. Hey now, Joe, get your mind out of the gutter. The Wiggler cart is a symbol of strength and stability. It's about resilience, not whatever you're implying. I'm just calling it as I see it, Donald, but suit yourself. Let's just hope it doesn't wiggle you out of the race. Putin, why'd you choose the cow costume for your me? It's a bit unexpected. Ah, Joe, my friend, the cow symbolizes strength and the ability to thrive even in tough conditions. Plus, it, it adds a touch of humor to the race, don't you think? Well, Putin, I appreciate the sentiment, but I gotta admit, it's a bit utterly surprising. And excuse me, but I keep crashing into everything. I'm in 12th place. Why is Mirror Mode on? Sleepy Joe, you're letting down the American team. And Mirror Mode adds an extra challenge. Keeps us on our toes. Here's a red shell for you, Putin. Take us a piece, she. Oh, you dare to attack me with a red Koopa shell trump? You think you can challenge the might of Russia in a mere cutting game? This is an affront to my honor and to the honor of my nation. You will regret this. It's not that deep. Hey, did anyone else see that glitch just now? The screen went all glitchy for a moment. Glitch? Oh, I, I didn't notice anything. Perhaps it's just your imagination, Donald. No, Putin, I saw it too. I just assumed it was my meds kicking in. But now that you mention it, it does seem a bit suspicious. Sleepy Joe, are you suggesting what I think you're suggesting? Putin, did you have something to do with that glitch? No, no, Donald. Let's not jump to conclusions. Accusations without evidence are baseless. We're here to race, not to make wild accusations. I don't know, Putin. It just seems a little too convenient, doesn't it? You're always one step ahead, pulling strings behind the scenes. Are you trying to rig the Mario Kart races? And now a blue shell appears out of nowhere? Hmm? Ah, Donald, always the conspiracy theorist. But I assure you, I had nothing to do with any glitches. Perhaps it's just, it's just a flaw with your television. Nah, Putin, the TV has nothing to do with it. I've been watching cat videos for the past 12 hours straight and not a single glitch in sight. Oh, I stand corrected. Maybe it is the TV. Or maybe it is Putin. Look, he uses his little hack to make it so he can easily become first. Maybe he just turned it off. Donald, you are making up what you always say, the fake news. Fake news? Really? Here, Putin, have a red shell again. I uh, see, now he has lost first place. Yeah, Putin is cheating. You just threw a red shell at me. Of course I lose first place. Fellas, we're all sitting on the same sofa. Don't argue. Ouch. Donald, why did you pinch my bottom? Ouch, stop it. <laughs> it was me. I got three red shells. Ooh, blue shell inbound. Are one of you in first place? Another blue shell? 
Seriously. No, this is ridiculous. Putin, you have definitely rigged this. Ouch. Did you just pinch my bottom? Stop that. A red shell. Yeah. If I see another red shell, then I'm quitting the game. You just want to quit the game because you're losing to me. I came second and you came fifth. <laughs> Wow, still better than Sleepy Joe, though. My performance in this game does not reflect my true abilities. But if you insist on belittling me, Donald, perhaps I will indeed withdraw. Hey, come on, guys. Let's not let this game get the best of us. I came eighth. And you know what? It doesn't matter. It's just a game after all. What? I fell off the track. This is not how Obama taught me to play. You know, Putin, I gotta say, Obama might just be the worst Mario Kart player in the history of Mario Kart players. I mean, the guy couldn't navigate Rainbow Road if his life depended on it. And let's not even get started on his banana peel strategy. It's like he's trying to sabotage himself. So if you're looking for tips on how to race, I'd steer clear of Obama. Stick with me and I'll show you how it's done. After all, I'm the master of Mario Kart. Hold on there, Donnie. You might want to put some respect on Obama's name when it comes to Mario Kart. The man's got skills. I've seen him pull off some crazy wins. It's like he's got some kind of secret power-up or something. Trust me, he always wins. No one likes a brown nose, Joe. Hey, Donald, that's not cool. We're all just here to have a good time racing. No need for that kind of talk. Don't be racist. Be better. Whoa, 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 Joe. Hold your horses. Brown nose isn't a racist term. It just means someone who's always trying to please others or get in their good graces, you know, like sucking up. It's got nothing to do with race. <laughs> this is the best. But why is it called brown nose, specifically? I mean, what's the deal with the color? Well, Joe, I reckon it's because when someone's constantly kissing up to others, their nose might end up looking a bit, you know, brown, like they're always sticking it where it doesn't belong if you catch my drift. Oh, my stars and stripes. And you're calling me a brown nose? I would never put my nose in Obama's. Oh, my stars and stripes. Donald, that's downright disgusting. Well, Joe, if you paid as much attention to the race as you do to misunderstanding idioms, maybe you wouldn't be stuck in 10th place. Now, that's what's truly disgusting. You're making the American team look bad with your poor performance out there. Who put the banana peel there? Hey, Putin. Let me ask you something. You know how in Mario Kart, when you're in last place, you get all these crazy power-ups like the blue shell or lightning bolt? Well, what if we had those in real life? I mean, imagine driving down the highway, minding your own business, and suddenly, bam, you get hit by a giant blue shell out of nowhere. Or worse, you're about to win a race, and then someone zaps you with a lightning bolt, making your car shrink down to the size of a peanut. Can you imagine the chaos? It'd be like Mario Kart on steroids, but in real life. So Putin, what do you think? Should we try persuade all the global governments to make real life Mario Kart power-ups a thing? Real life Mario Kart power-ups, you say? Well, it would certainly make the commuting more exciting, wouldn't it? Just imagine the look on someone's face when they get hit by a giant blue shell during rush hour traffic. But perhaps we should leave the chaos on the racetrack and stick to regular driving for now. After all, We've got enough challenges to deal with in the real world without adding banana peels and bob booms into the mix. Well, Joe, it sounds like Putin just did the polite version of telling you to zip it. Maybe we should stick to racing and leave the wild ideas for the Mushroom Kingdom. Oh, I thought Putin liked the idea. I worked really hard on the idea. Sleepy Joe, maybe you should stop wasting time on silly Mario Kart ideas. We've got more important things to focus on. Hold on, Donald. Uh, before, before you lecture Joe about wasting time, Perhaps you should take a look at what I found on your phone. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Hold on a minute, Putin. That's a major invasion of privacy. Those pictures are clearly fake news, probably doctored by some loser with too much time on their hands. I mean, come on, me dating Princess Peach? Give me a break. You really expect anyone to believe that nonsense. And besides, even if those pictures were real, which they're not, it's none of your business what I do in my free time. Well, folks, looks like that's all the time we have for today. Thanks for tuning in and witnessing the chaos unfold. Seems like our Mario Kart plans might be on hold for a while, especially now that Donald's uh -huh, artistic endeavors have been discovered. But hey, if you enjoyed watching us race and banter, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more content. Who knows what other surprises await us in the future. Until next time, 
Take care and happy carding. Just wanted to chime in and say that normally when we're making these videos, we like to put an image of the current person speaking to match the audio. But you know, when it comes to Mario Kart, things can get a bit hectic. It gets quite cluttered with all those images popping up on the screen while we're zooming around Rainbow Road or dodging those pesky blue shells. So I'm curious, what do you all think? Should we stick with the current format? Or do you have any suggestions for making it easier to follow along? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. We're always looking to improve, so your feedback is greatly appreciated. Thanks for watching, and until next time, stay awesome.